looks glorious. Now, knowing that this is October, we should be at about 56 or so. Unfortunately, we're about 20 plus degrees colder than that right now, and we're going to top out well below average. It's 34 from Eugene Wood and Alsup. I have Elton in Schaumburg at around 32. Uh, Chris in Crown Point at 38. And Kennedy Rodriguez and Platteville, our weather watcher there, uh, coming in around that same temperature regime. Let's see where we go from here. Again, you'll want to watch this black box right here. It's got your time on it. It's going to tell you the sky condition, the winds, and obviously the temperature. So from this point forward, we're starting to add a little more cloud cover. You can see it by looking for the gray on this map right here, and you'll see those clouds kind of popping up on that icon as well. Then we're a little bit cloudier yet by 5:30 today when folks are getting ready to head home from work. Uh, we get 39 degrees. Degrees, southwesterly wind at around 12. I talked about the chance for some light rain. Now this is coming in on this model is all rain. I think we're probably going to have some temperatures cold enough that we're mixing some snow into this. It's late tonight into early tomorrow though. This is 2:30 in the morning. Uh, still the temperature about 35, but again I think it's possible to see a little bit of a mix in there as well. Here we are at 10 o'clock or so Saturday morning, and you may have a few flurries in the mix, but accumulation wise, this is really kind of a non event. I'm not expecting this to be any kind of impact weather. You may pick up a tenth or so, just a few little light flurries on a brisk day tomorrow. But rest of today, we're going to settle in around 39, 40 degrees, and then eventually start to drop off here as we see that chance of rain and snow beginning a little bit later on this evening. Your seven day forecast, I'd like to see some 50s in this, but I have none to give you. The closest we're going to get is probably Monday at around 48 degrees. I think that's going to feel downright warm compared to today, and even that is almost 10 degrees below the norm this time of the year. At least it's not that active of a seven day. We don't have tons of different rain snow chances, but it's still going to be a little difficult.